Welcome to Knock Pro Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh. And today we have some Walking Dead Universe news. Uh, <laughs> 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 yeah, guys, just something new to do. Uh, we thought, you know, kind of, I wouldn't say turn this into like a series, but kind of just a, maybe a weekly, every few weeks, uh, just kind of have some Walking Dead news that has been released. Uh, as we know, The Ones Who Live is over with. Uh, great series. What we're moving on to now is uh, The Dead City and Daryl Dixon. And uh, just kind of going over news, casting news, filming no- filming news, anything that comes out. Nothing too extremely spoilery. You know, if there's massive spoilers out there, we definitely won't be going over that or releasing that. Yeah. But um, just kind of just general information that we want to talk about. Yeah, so, sounds good. Sorry, needed a shot of coffee there. Oh, I hear you, man. It's all good. Um, so we're going to start with Dead City season two so season two is currently in production filming is taking place in the boston area from april through july 21st of this year season two is projected to release as early as march 2025 now i've seen some griplings from fans i wouldn't say griplings but they're like how they're filming in boston how are they going to make that look like manhattan You could film anywhere and make some places look. You're going to use green screen and it's, things like that, yeah. but it's it's no big deal. I'm pretty sure they're not going to be filming any iconic spots. No. And if they do, they'll CGI it or you yeah. know, something. Yeah. Big news, actually. Casting news. Uh, Dead City adds Kim Coates to season two in a heavy recurring role. Do you remember who that is? Do you recognize him? God. Wasn't he a biker? Uh Yes, he is. Kim Coates is best known for his role as biker bad boy wow. Tig Traeger in Sons of Anarchy. I never saw that series. Uh, I watched maybe a few seasons. I, I never it was, finished it. it was, I heard it was good. Dude, it's badass. Yeah. It's actually good. Recent credits also include a starring role in Netflix's series Bad Blood, Godless, and White Plumber on HBO. So his role, he is going to be playing the role of Bruegel a leader of one of the fiercest gangs in New York City who is more manipulative and intelligent than we might have assumed. If you guys remember, Dama teased in season one telling Negan that there are many other boroughs throughout Manhattan and that she wants Negan to unite the island under one banner. Dude, this guy, like even in... um, yeah, I, this guy, he, uh, he's, he looks, he, he looks psychotic. He looks, he got the role. He's got that kind of he mentality can, that, yeah. that Jeffrey D. Morgan has. Like yeah. he's a good villain. He was really good in Sons of Anarchy. He, he had a small couple episodes in Entourage where he played kind of a, a crazy type guy. Um, he's really good. Yeah. I, I cannot wait to see those two dynamic and those two talk to each other. Yeah. Cause he, Negan's got to try. Here's the thing, guys. If you want to blame Maggie, you can blame her because now, because of what Maggie did, now Negan, it's gonna have to resort to doing bad things. Yeah, <laughs> which is what yeah. we all look forward to the most is seeing <laughs> Negan, the true Negan, uh, badass Negan. Yeah, I God, I want to open that series with just him being Negan again. Do you think? Well, no, he won't bring back Lucille ever again. But I don't think he'll have like an iconic weapon again. I don't think they're going to have him do that. Why, why not? I don't know. What would it you be? Know, why, He's going to call it Anne? Like, <laughs> me, why, why not have Lucille back? I don't know if they would. No. I, he's given why not? A, he gave it up. He's done with it. I but think. Look at what he. Look at the position he's in. True. He could use a different weapon. I think. I think what they did with I Negan. I Lucille back. I think what they did with Negan and Lucille of him breaking and burning it, it and burying it, basically. It, he's done with that piece, you know. He, he don't, I, you know, I, but I would he can agree, have something I, else. I would agree with you up yeah. to the point where you do things when you're put in, uh, you know, certain situations when you're boxed in. Yeah. yeah. A- and he is boxed in. You think the leather jacket comes back? Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That leather, leather jacket's coming back. Coming back. Dude. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I just go back to the scene where he slits those guys throats. Oh my god, yeah. That it, that was brutal. It was a scene where you're like, that's Negan. That's Negan. <laughs> so yeah. he can be brutal when he has to, but now it's like now he's being I want to see fo- a constant he's being forced into it. I want to see it constant. I want to see him him being man- manipulative like he was. Mm-hmm. Dude, I'm just I can't wait. Yeah. Can't wait. It's going to be good. I wonder how much of a I wonder how much of an influence the the Croat is going to have because when we saw the Croat, I mean, yeah, he did some crazy stuff, but 
he turned he turned out to be just a puppet yeah. to Dama. And it was a, like he was their, their dog. Yeah, like he crumbled so like he, he had such a fascination with Negan, but he crumbled so fast with Dama. It was like, wow, yeah. you are on strings with her, dude. Yeah. You are a puppet. It's so weird. News from the actor that plays Herschel Ree. Uh, actor Logan Kim offers a dark character tease. Logan confirmed in Screen Rant. Oh, yes. I'm going to be filming that very soon. I will say Herschel has a lot more to do now, and he's not kidnapped. Now that he's not kidnapped. Uh, and it's very exciting. I can't wait to play such a dark character. So dark character. Mm. <laughs> wow. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, I would say the only thing I hope that does not happen to Herschel again, he better not get kidnapped again. No, I don't think he gets kidnapped. What I don't want to see is... They've done that story so many I, damn times. I don't want to see a, a recycling of the story where there's animosity between him and Maggie. Like, we've already done that. Well, I, I, it's going to continue. But, it's going to continue actually, for now a that I think bit. about it, there will be because mm-hmm. he blames Maggie for Negan now, yeah. right? Yeah, and Maggie does not know about his missing toe. Oh, yeah, but that's little. No, that's big, dude. Dama took that thing. Yeah. But I think there's still going to be animosity just because of the relationship is a little bit fractured. It might get better, but there's something that's going to go down to where, which forces Maggie, and she kind of already said it, that, you know, she's, you know, to force Maggie to go back for Negan. And I wonder if he wants to come and help. And there's going to be friction between that. Not just help. Maybe he's the one that goes. Like, maybe it's not a kidnapping, but more of a voluntary thing. Like, you wouldn't save him. I'm going to go save him. Why did you do that? Why did you trade me for him? Like, which is wild. Yeah. Right. It's wild to think that he would even go try and save the person that killed his father. Right. And, and to, so to Maggie, seeing that, right, is Mm going to be like, well, if my son can forgive and do this thing, this heroic thing for the person that killed his father one i have to save my child again (laughs) so that that's what that's what i think they they really have to flush that out is they really have to get closure for herschel in regards to negan yeah you know we've got all this stuff between maggie and negan and we thought it was done at the end of the series and it's still boiled over into this but herschel's the biggest one herschel's the one that now has to come up with okay is he going to be able to you know maybe that's part of his dark character arc is He's going to be going through so much hate, so much anger, maybe towards Maggie, to the whole situation. It depends and then, on how much he knows. And then it finally culminates to where he he just is able to forgive Negan for it because of the good deeds that Negan did. Like, in a way, Negan allowed himself to be taken to get Herschel back. Yeah. You know, it's like he's doing these great things, yes, but the pain is going to be there always. It's never going to go away. It depends on how much but, he knows. Do you think he knows the full... Do you think Maggie told him every little detail about his father's death? I, I mean, would hope so. It, maybe that's if maybe it's part of season two. Maybe she dives into it. Maybe maybe you know? that's a mood point, right? Maybe you know we don't need to know that detail. All we need to know yeah. is look, he knows that he killed his father. Fine, right? Um, but when you know how he killed your father, mm-hmm. that's a little bit more personal. True. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you have to go with specific details. I mean, if, if he killed your father, he kills your father. Does it matter that he did the it the brutalness in this of way? It, the brutalness of it shows just, it. It changes. Things. It shows Negan's malice. It, it, it shows Negan things. that he had no care in the world. He did it just to be. He did it just to do it. Yeah. So, it, it that's going to be an interesting piece for Herschel. This darker character arc. Um, excited for it. Yeah. Just hope that we're not going flushing the same story where he gets kidnapped again and they have to go find him. It's no, like, oh my god, no, we're done with that. Stop it. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, that's not too. Uh, so that's really about it with Dead City season two right now. They are filming. Uh, they're looking for extras in the Boston area. So any other news that comes out, any new castings, we'll definitely let you know. Super excited for Kim Coates. I think he's gonna be he's gonna be fantastic. Uh, Jarrell and I will fly up for some extras if you need some extras. Yeah, we'll do some extras. Yeah, yeah we'll just be in the background. Yeah, you know, I just <laughs> can I be in the background with Jeffrey Dean Morgan as like one of his goons who just like laughs when he says something funny. No, <laughs> <laughs> that's all I want to do. I just want to laugh in the background. Get that. Be that hype man. Be like, <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Negan turns and looks at me like, shut up. And I'm just like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, guys. Man. um, the Book of Carol, Daryl Dixon Season 2. Not too much, but just some general information here. Season 2 is currently filming, and Norman Reedus confirmed Season 2 will arrive in the summer of 2024, which is which coming is crazy. very fast. So they're 
pretty maybe already in post production. Yeah. yeah, yeah, probably in post production. As you guys know, Melissa McBride is returning as Carol, and she will have a main recurring role in season two. Uh, this is the one yeah. that I have. Will season two address any of Laurent 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 special gifts? I, I, I hope not, dude. I hope they drop that shit. I mean, what, I'm, I'm I'm done with that. What else is special? Yeah. Like he can just. It seems if like you don't he, have the cure. You're not special. Yeah, but I mean, it seems like he re, he could just read people really well. Like they haven't really gone into it, and I don't know if they really will. But maybe I hope they do. Hope yeah. they go into a little bit more of why they feel like he is so special. My guess is he's a leader. What is this prophecy? about him but but yeah that's the whole stuff that i i hope they drop i can't stand it i just you know you're not special like i said unless you're a a leader you prove that you can be a leader Mm -hmm. uh which he has he's he's shown that he can he Mm -hmm. can lead yeah yeah. um but it, it you know you're not you're not curing people here you're not you know you're not the cure and if you're not the cure there's no cure exactly (laughs) yeah. <laughs> if you're not the cure, yeah. you're not special. You right. don't have special gifts. Yeah. This Sorry. Is, this isn't the last of us. He's not the <laughs> cure. It's not going to happen. Yeah. Not going to happen. Uh, go ahead and do the next one. Uh, well, season two, de- di- dive deeper into Walker experiments with Madame Genet. And is there any connection with the CRM forces? Yeah, we kind of already discussed this in our yeah. last video. We don't feel... We don't believe that CRM has any forces abroad, and they're they're not connected at all. Yeah. Um, you know, Major General Bill mentioned that the CRM could be abroad, but I think that was just more of his overall plan, and not have any connection. Um, I ho- what do you think? Do you think they'll dive deeper in those Walker experiments? Oh for, yeah, for the variants? for sure, for sure. Yeah. I, yeah, that's a big part of this show is the Walker mm-hmm. variants. I think they will be prevalent in this next season, and I think that. Uh, we got to see some runners, maybe even get, jumpers. get more with the doctor as well. Yeah, we, we got to see more of that because it was unreal what we saw I, with these. But, but here's the thing, like, and let me know your thoughts. I want to see more of the natural variants. I don't want to see any of the experimental variants. You know what I'm saying? Like, give me the natural ones, the ones that you see in the wild. Like, that's more intriguing to me than someone juicing up a walker to make him stronger. That's true, guys. Yeah. So most of these variants that we've seen in Daryl Dixon so far have been injected with serum, which have given them are these the burners massive that way? ability. I don't think the burners are that way. I don't think the burners are that way. The burners are natural yes. variants. Yeah. Yeah. And the ones that we kind of saw in the walk in the Walking Dead universe the, in the, the Walking Dead series, um, those were natural burn or natural variants where they were able to sense you know, turn direction on a blind. They were able to climb naturally, they were stronger, picking up objects. Those are kind of natural ones. The burners seem oh, to be natural. Sorry, I was going the other way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nope. The burners seem to be natural. The the ones in the fighting pit, those That's were those I'm were injected. About. Yeah, those, those were injected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to see any more of that. Like it's cool and creepy it's, and no, scary. It's cool, it's creepy, it's awesome, it's something different. But at the end of the day, like I'm more intrigued about the natural ones. The variants, like when you get a virus, there are variants of the virus. It can mutate to something else. And that's what like that's the scientific part of this mm-hmm. that I like. Yeah. They, yeah. It's mutated. Uh, yeah. Walkers are picking up stuff now. It, it's scary. It's awesome. And those are the ones that I want to see. Yeah. And, and, you know, in the first episode of Daryl Dixon, it was awesome that he, you know, when he first contacted a burner and it grabbed his arm and burned him. I can't wait to see what happens when Carol comes in contact yeah. and, and sees that for the first time. And so Dude, I just want to see one, you know, maybe 20 feet away from Carol bend down pick up a rock yeah dude <laughs> like just give me that shot and then cut to carol's face right when she sees it yeah and then have it kind of running towards her a little bit not super fast but kind of coming quickly like that would be amazing <laughs> amazing or she goes into swing and the walker actually goes like this to block it like yeah dude that's the stuff we want to see yeah. we hope we get to see more of that um will carol Bring Daryl and his friends back home during this season. Like, here's the thing: we don't know how long this season's going to run. We have another mention coming up next, which kind of if it happens messes up what I'm saying right now. But yeah, if it happens, it's at the end. Happens is at the end. Yeah, yeah. So, guys, I have to mention this: it's not fully confirmed, but some news has come out. The news has come out of the mouth of Norman Reedus. Norman Reedus has potentially said there is a season three. Oh, Jesus. 
News has been going around that season three, Norman Reedus confirmed that season three will start shooting June of this year in Spain. According to a Twitter post, Norman mentioned the location and date to a fan in New York when he was in New York this past week. And then we're just starting up on Dead City Season 2. Oh, that's awesome. And uh, Daryl Dixon Season 3. Spain? Now, a lot of people are saying that from this news, this seems like it's going to be a travel style show. Meaning they're on the road. They're on the road. Yeah. So these first two seasons are going to be in, in, in France. Spain is just just south of France. So they can just easily cross the border and go into Spain. But that begs the question, like, you know, if they're making a seat, like, how long is this freaking series going to be? Yeah. I mean, I know that uh, Lauren, Lauren Cohen said that she would love Dead City to go like five seasons, five or six seasons. Like, with this show, I, you know, it, fans are going to now be like, we want Daryl and Carol home. Like, how long is this series going to be? Yeah. And that, but, I think that all depends on the story that we get in season two, obviously. Yeah. Um, you know. But Spain. Now, the other things that people have, have mentioned mm-hmm. because of Spain, but it would, you, you, it would you, not work. You know it's coming, right? It would not work. <laughs> what, do I, well, yeah, what, do, what do you think you're talking you're about? You're talking about Mr. Grimes? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Barcelona? Rip, right. Rick yeah. Grimes' brother. Based off of based off a of book, um, uh, the alien, the alien, was written about Rick Grimes' brother who was in Barcelona, Spain. Uh, it, it wouldn't work. No, it wouldn't work. <laughs> It'd be so awesome. It wouldn't though. work at all. It would be so awesome. It, it How just, would that it work? It wouldn't work. How? Because no, but like just to automatically bring up Rick's brother in a, no, in a no, spinoff no, series. Dude, you meet him. We I, are going to meet him. That's what I'm saying. It. It doesn't feel like it would be natural. So, it would work naturally because so, so, because Rick has never you, meant is never come up in the series at all. So except you're for right. One point. You are right from an aspect. But that of, was with Lori. People that haven't read the source material are, yeah, yeah. are going to be watching that and be like, "What the fuck?" Like that's come what I'm, on. That's what I'm saying. It would because of the amount of people that do not know that story yeah. that are not comic book readers. The massive amount of the fandom, if they see that. They're going to be like, what the fuck? Yeah. Rick Grimes' brother. When when the hell did Rick mention a brother? Well, I believe it was mentioned by Lori. In, in like, like episode one se- or two. Or season something. one somewhere. Yeah. Lori mentioned something about a brother of Rick. When they were in their camp. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's it. Yeah. Other than that, like Rick hasn't brought it up. It'd be different if Rick like mentioned his brother, sprinkled it out through the series. It's never mentioned. So for those fans, that's why I say it would never work because you're going to alienate a lot of fans that have no idea. Like, really? Rick's brother, come yeah, on! Yeah, so you're going to have a large portion of fans that are thinking you're just piling this up to get viewership, just juicing it to yeah. bring Rick's name back in. That yeah, yeah. I just, you know, I if it was if it was yeah, it could work if it was done differently. Like if they have mentioned Rick's brother multiple times, if Rick even mentioned his brother, his family. We only he only met, in Once Who Live he only mentioned his father and his mother. Yeah, never mentioned a brother. So. That's what I'm saying. It wouldn't work for but. you and I, and and people that have read so the, the comic book. Yeah, it'd be awesome. It'd be sweet. <laughs> it'd be sweet. It'd be sweet. But, but uh, yeah, yeah, it wouldn't really work. Yeah, I mean, boy, I want to say so much about that. I know. <laughs> I know. I don't know, guys. Season. Uh, I mean, I guess we'll have to wait to hear. You know, if it's confirmed by AMC. But it kind of sucks if Norma Reedus did spill the beans this early already. Kind of what they did with uh, Carol. I mean, I'm two, not opposed to a, another season. It's just, man, uh, it's what, gonna the, depend on the, what story. the viewers really want is not him in Spain. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know? it really depends on the story. And it's like, all right, so they finish the story in France. What is going to make them go to Spain? You're going to be going. You're going to be going a long way south, southeast, no, southwest mostly to go to Spain. Why? Why do you need to go to Spain? Yeah. What's happening in Spain? Well, I think, obviously, we'll find out in season two. Unless it has something to do with this whole Laurent storyline with God, him and I the prophecy. Not. God, I hope not. Unless maybe they find out that, you know, Madame Genet and the scientists have been breeding these a massive horde of these super, these super walkers that are, like, in Spain somewhere, like in Barcelona or something that they're planning on unleashing in Spain and having them unleashed throughout Europe that are, you know, a massive column horde of walkers, super walkers. Like, maybe they got to go down there to stop it. I don't know. 
or, or you're bringing or Carol a, along for you're bringing Carol along for the it, ride, or it's false hope of maybe some kind of cure down there. No, no cure, <laughs> no talks of cure. I just the only reason why I say that is because it gives motivation for them to go down there. Yeah, um, I don't know, but the French were the the French had made it the furthest. So if you're yeah. not finding it in France, you're not finding it anywhere. Yeah. Or maybe um maybe going off of the uh you know the post credit scene from World Beyond, maybe it has something to do with that those teams, the Primrose team and things yeah. like that. Maybe something is going down in Spain that they've gone wind of, which is still part of the Madame Genet thing. And you know, Daryl Carroll, maybe Laurent, maybe Isabel, they say let's go, let's go stop them. Yeah. You know. I mean, here's the thing for Daryl Dixon. I love the char- I do love the character of Laurent. He's very interesting, very good kid, um, real life kid, very good actor. I, I'm really loving the love character. Love both of those things. Hate uh, the story. Story, the piece of the whole, yeah, like special abilities, prophecy thing. They got to expand it more. Isabel, just a great, great actress, great character. Um, I, I don't know if there's. It's it's, it's very difficult with Daryl. I don't know if there's like a love connection between them. There is something there. It's kind of, it's almost similar to like him and Connie. Very similar. Could be just best friends. They could have a slight love interest, but they're not really going to expand upon it. Yeah. Because all these people out there that want Daryl and Carol to have a relationship Stupid. now that Carol's coming into the picture. Stupid. It's yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm just very curious about this this book of Carol subtitle. Like, yes, we know that Carol is going to be tracking her friend getting all the way over to france to find him it, it's going to happen early because she's a she's a main role in this season who, in this who, season but but who says she gets to france she most definitely does she, we so, so if you remember in the teaser does she, she get to see daryl in the teaser no, it, the, no in the teaser she was just back she basically went to that same spot where Daryl met up with all those people. Yeah. And before he headed over on the boat. So she's basically following his trail. How? Don't know, but she's able to, you know, good tracker like, you know, like Daryl is. So she's going to make it over there. Now, it is true, like you said, in this season, when does Carol actually make it there? Is it more the book of Carol? Is Carol's journey following the tracks of Daryl to then by the end of the season, she finally makes it there and reunites with him? Or does she get there early enough and she's still trying to find him? You know, it's, it's going to be like two separate stories. I just want to be Daryl. It's going to be Carol. And by the end, they're together. I just want to know why she's there. She's there because Daryl didn't contact her in the week that he said he was going to. But but or she, he didn't come home in a week. But, <laughs> but they did contact each other. Right. But that was the last. He communi- heard her on the radio. Was she a, heard him on the radio. That was the last communication. He said he was going to be back in like a week. There's something else. And and I think we know what it is. Now that is now that was part of people's comments is so Carol is going to look for Daryl because he didn't make it home in a week like he said he was. Like <laughs> Yeah. She's going on this massive The dude mission. was gone for seven years. Yes, he was in a tent <laughs> that was close to the community, but he was away from oh, the community for, for seven Rick. years. Yeah, and, searching and, for Rick, you know, yeah. like yeah, he's yeah. a nomad. That like that right. that's what he does. So right. for Carol to get worried that he's not checking in in a a week week? yeah that doesn't make sense to me no my guess is rick came back she reunited with rick and she knows how important rick is to daryl she knows how Mm. long daryl spent looking for rick she's going to find daryl to tell him rick's back yeah yeah that's and then when she guess. get and then when she gets the information of what's been happening to him the people that he's come across she just that's where i'm just so interested to find out like her story you know, yeah, yeah I, I want to know what Daryl and Laurent and Isabel are doing. I think we're going to have two different stories going on at the same time, an A plot to B plot. If this and, season yeah. doesn't open up with Carol arriving on the beach like Daryl's, I'd be disappointed. It's not. It's going to be, I think the first episode will probably be with Carol following the journey, following the sources no, to Daryl. But, but opening up with Carol is what I'm saying. Most, oh, yeah. most importantly. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I'd say by... I'm hoping by a couple episodes in, she'll finally make it to France, but then she still has to find Daryl Dixon season two. Here's Carol. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. It's interesting. You know, I get it. A season three. We'll see. I got to see how this story goes. I mean, I, here's the thing. 
we were pissed that we learned that there was another season before the the first season ended because of how that first season showed it was ending. It showed Daryl was about to leave. Yeah. Laurent was able to follow him, no problem. So and he decided to stay. Here's so. here's the question I have, right? So he decided to stay there, right? Mm-hmm. Because he be you know, Isabel and, and respects on Laurent. Them. Yeah, uh, were more important to him to stay mm-hmm. than for him to go home. Yep. Carol comes back, and let's just assume that Carol tells Daryl that Rick is back. Is Daryl going to want to leave? He's going to be conflicted. Yes. Um, be- or because of or, what's what's going on in that storyline. Or, or this: Does Carol show up with full intention to tell Daryl that Rick returns, but sees how happy Daryl is? And what's going on in France, and decides herself not to tell Daryl. I've thought of that too. Yeah, yeah. It's because of the relationship that I think that he's going to have with Laurent and Isabel and everyone there, and um, he still has a fight going on between Madame Genet um, because she's you know trying to wipe out that group, their groups and stuff. If Carol does mention it to 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 Daryl, and he learns about Rick. In a way, I could see him not wanting to get back home immediately because he knows that Rick is alive. He knows yeah. that Rick is safe and he's back home with family. So yeah. it's good, right? So he has to finish his mission. He has to do what he needs to do to protect Laurent and Isabel over there. If Carol does see that, you know, depending on the storyline, that there are times that she wants to tell him, but she doesn't, right? Because it, she doesn't feel like it's right yet. Maybe by the end of the season, she might, but. Like you said, she could not tell him for a while because he sees how happy he is. He's content. But the final piece of it will be, will Daryl even come home at all? Yeah. Will he decide that this is where he belongs? Now, that's that's a very hard thing to ask right now and say from all the family that he has back home because you got to think of the promise he made to Judith, yeah. to RJ, yeah. to everyone else. Or do you but, you know? But, but, or do you feel he would just bring everyone back with him? And that's that's what I was going to go with next is not only does Carol know about we're assuming that Carol knows about Rick, but at, if you know about Rick, then at that point you know about the Civic Republic and how mm-hmm. the safety of the Civic Republic is there. Mm-hmm. Life is different in the United in the U.S. than mm-hmm. it is in France, mm-hmm. where we see it's kind of chaos right it's now. Chaos, yeah. So why wouldn't Daryl say? There's the there's safety. Come back home with me. Come with me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But no. Spain. <laughs> if that's true. If it's true. I hope it's not, dude. Yeah, I take really it with a grain of salt. It could, could have be been, him throwing it us could off. Could just be Norma Reedus talking smack. Who knows? No. Uh that's the thing, you know. Yeah. We don't know the full details of this series. Uh, or even Dead City of how much you know. We don't know. Yeah. But uh, it's it's a very tough question to ask. Like you know, what what is Daryl going to do with that news if he fi- when he finds out Rick is alive? He could just be like, "Great, that that's off my shoulders. He's alive. He's well. I'm going to continue on here. I'll get home eventually." Or does he feel like, "Oh shit, I got to get home," but now Carol's here. I got to get her home. What am I going to do with Laurent and Isabel? Do I just leave them? Like, but I can't leave them because Madame Genet is doing all this shit. Codron seems to be kind of on their side, but Codron's in a tough position right now. Yeah. So it's like he has to deal with what's going on here and especially with all these super walkers that Madame Genet could just start unleashing to Europe in the area. Uh, I I think this season is really going to be a struggle for Daryl, especially when Carol arrives. The struggle of do I go home? Do I finish what I'm doing here? What do I do with the people that I have here now that are technically my new family? Yeah. What do I do? He's sitting on the side of a beach, looking at the ocean, saying, I'm going to leave for my family. Um, and then turning to Laurent and making that opposite decision mm-hmm. is easier when you don't have your family right in front of your face. Exactly. And so Carol's going to be right in front of his face. It's tough, <laughs> and it's dude. it's a different ball game at that point. Huge. So. Huge. Huge, dude. Yeah. I, I think we're... it's. I, I think this season is going to have a lot of emotion. Yeah. A lot of emotion because God, when Daryl, when Daryl, I'm telling you when those two are together, they're unstoppable, but I don't know what 
you know, we don't know the intentions of Carol. Yes, she wants to find him and bring him home, but when she finds out and sees what's going on there, is she going to then attempt to pull him home? And then that's the thing with Daryl. Is he going to be yeah. conflicted? Does he feel like, you know, I've, I've searched for my best friend for years. I couldn't find him. If he does find out the news that he's alive, he could feel like his life is, he could feel like everything is set now if he knows the news. That he feels like, I'm doing what I'm doing here. You have I, you I, have other people who are who can lead. Carol, you can lead. Maggie can I lead. Get it. Rick can lead. Michonne can lead. Yeah, I get I'm it. I'm content here. No, I get it. But you know? at the same time, it just goes back to my: you're content there, but you're not safe. Uh, not and neither is Lebron, and neither is Isabel, and neither are half of the people there. They're not safe, and mm. you know, there's a way back to the U.S. I just don't see how he doesn't. You know, it's going to be more of Isabel and Laurent and them not wanting to go more than Daryl saying, you know, come with. That's true. We don't we won't know that aspect of whether or not Isabel and Laurent would want to leave because yeah. that's their home. Exactly. Um, and I completely get that. Yeah. It's hard to leave your home. Right. Even though even your if, home is even if it's in ruins, it's in ruins. It's, you know, you have these factions that are trying to kill you or it's hope. coming after also coming after the kid. And then also with these variants, like because it's hope, you don't want to yeah. give up, uh, you know, that hope. And and especially in a more religious environment, mm -hmm. hope is always there. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Not that it's not in, in you know, non-religious, but, but it just the scope of Daryl Dixon is it's different. It's more on the religious side because of isabel yeah. you know being in the nun and yeah. also laurent growing up in that as well so yeah. and this whole prophecy thing so guys it's god this has really gotten me intrigued talking <laughs> about like it, it really has that's why we love doing these these kind of new videos is yeah. to really discuss like because we haven't really talked about daryl dixon because there hasn't been much news out about it and we just haven't really well, the fact that it's coming in drunk. the summer of 2024 is it's coming soon bro there you go it's supposed to be out soon so Stay tuned, guys. We'll have a lot more. Um, let us know if you enjoy this kind of news type of, type of video. We can definitely plan on doing more of them, which, you know, with some news that's out there, just to kind of just have an overall discussion, just free form it. Um, but definitely, yeah, we definitely want to start getting talking about Daryl Dixon, storylines, things that we kind of basically what we talked about just now, but uh, kind of dive deeper into it. Yep. So once again, guys, if you are new here, please click that subscribe button, smash the like button as well. Make sure you turn on notifications and we will see you guys in the next one. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. Knock Nation. We're, We're up. up.